everybody. Marcus here with Black Elvis. We are super excited about this new line of Vortex tripods and accessories. So we called in our local expert, Paul Kendall, with Vortex to tell us all about them. Thanks for coming in, Paul. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so we're super excited to, uh, to introduce um, some new carbon tripods this year. Um, got a lot of neat new features. Uh, start off with the little guy here on this end. This is our uh, the Summit Carbon 2. So as you can see, this is the smallest of them. So lightweight, really built for the Western Hunter backpacker. Guys that are gonna head up high in elevation. Um, unique thing about these tripods that we're really excited about is they all, the, these two, they share the same head. The window mount shares the same head. Um, and they are all Arca Swiss compatible. So there's going to be a lot of accessories out there that are Arca Swiss. Um, nice thing for you guys is, is you don't have to have a bunch of different plates. Like yeah. years past, sometimes you had to have a plate for your window mount, a plate for your tripod. Um, all of these plates, or all these tripods and window mount, they all use the same uh, Arca Swiss plate. Yeah. We actually got these about a week or two ago, and we've been able to pull them out of the box and play around with them a little. And that is one of our favorite features. This Arca Swiss plate just makes it so easy to transfer from this window car mount to your spotting scope on the mountain. I mean, not having to change the plate out is a huge benefit, as well as if you're using camera equipment for photography or videography, being able to just have an Arca Swiss plate on that camera that you can put right onto any of these heads or the car mount. It's a, it's a really nice added feature. Yeah, good to keep things fast and simple. So the carbon, there's, there's a couple benefits to carbon. Obviously the lightweight, uh, they're extremely durable. Uh, the other thing with carbon, uh, it dampens vibration. So if it's, there's any wind or, or you bump your tripod, that carbon's gonna help dampen that vibration. So you're not gonna mess the image up. Um, the legs, uh, they, they will extend out. There's three different positions to extend the legs out. Um, so if you're on a, a steep hillside and you gotta put a leg out, um, you can, you can lock them into place. Another cool feature with that is the center post will, is removable here, so you can actually get these tripods down about six inches off of the, off of the ground, so um, yeah, pretty, pretty handy. Versatility is pretty awesome with these tripods. Yeah. And they do have uh, the twist lock, so they're really slim, um, not going to hang up in your backpack, um, just kind of keeps the size, size down and, and super fast and easy to use. Yeah, it is awesome. The other thing we've noticed in the shop is the pan and tilt head across all of these, aside from the radiant carbon, is the same pan head. Um, and I believe the max load is 22 pounds on all of these. Yes, yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really great pan and tilt head. Um, just by twisting this, it allows you to move up and down pan and tilt, and when you twist it back, it tightens that. So depending on what size your spotting scope or binoculars are, you can just adjust that accordingly. Yeah, so again, the, the, the summit for uh, you know guys that are backpacking, the Ridgeview is a fairly tall tripod, so it's gonna be used more for, for standing. Um, you will be able to use it when you're kneeling or sitting with the legs extended out. Um, but for most guys, unless you're probably well over six foot, this, this tripod is, it's really made for, uh, for standing. Yeah. One thing that I'm super excited about is our new uh, binocular tripod adapter. Um, we, we've had a binocular tripod adapter in our line for years, but I think this is the, it's for sure the best one that we've had. I'm, re I'm really excited about it. Um, there's simply a, a stud that, that guys are going to uh, get to put on their binoculars. A lot of guys are packing two or three different binoculars these days. And so you'll, you'll get a stud for, say you've got a pair of 18 by 56s and a pair of 10 by 42s. So you'll buy studs and put on each one. And then this is super slick. You can see we've got it mounted up to the Arca Swiss plate. Um, but it, it'll just slide right onto that stud. And you just twist, it right yeah, just twist it right down. And it's a nice, secure, solid attachment. Um, and gonna be so handy with this Arca Swiss uh, plate just to be able to go from a window mount to a tripod. and. You know, every situation is a little different. One day you may want to take a ridge view, and the other day you might want to take take the summit, and you can do it all with the same same plate. Yeah, that's awesome. So moving on, tell us about this radiant carbon. It's definitely a bit beefier tripod. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the, the, the Radian line is really made, um, designed for guys shooting PRS uh, shooting matches, uh, extremely uh, stout, um, <laughs> secure, stable. So guys that are going to be mounting 20 pound plus rifles on, on top. Uh, this, we, we do two heads. This particular tripod's got our ball head on it. We also do a, a leveling head. But the, the ball head's got a ton of adjustment. Uh, you can go clear from, say, 90 degrees. Uh, you'll be able to shoot. Uh, I, I can't think of a situation where you could not make the, this head work uh, shooting up, up or down at extreme angles. Um, it, it's a tall tripod. Uh, like I say it's a really specialized tripod for, for long range shooting, for, for tactical style shooting. Awesome. Yeah, this is a great tripod. Well, we've covered most of the tripods now. Um, one thing we did want to touch on real quick, again, is this window car mount. We talked about it just slightly with this Arca Swiss plate. Um, just how that's such an added bonus to this setup, being able to switch your binoculars and spotting scope and potentially your DSLRs or mirrorless cameras from the tripods to this window car mount. This thing, though, is pretty slim, it's pretty small, and it's got the same pan and tilt head as the tripod setups aside from the radiant carbon. And it is pretty awesome. Yeah. We are loving this. One tripod we haven't talked about here is the Aluminum High Country. It's basically the in-between size of these two tripods here, the Summit Carbon 2 and the Ridgeview. Because it's not carbon, we are not going to cover it in this video here, but we will be coming out with another video where we talk more about it, get a little, little bit more in depth. Um, that's a pretty exciting tripod as well. However, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for coming in, Paul. And, Yep. giving us the, the rundown on this new lineup. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for having me.